Okay, we're now back to the seat base. Is give the foam a light dusting of spray. And what that does is helps the cover slide over a lot easier. Sit your cover on the edge, go to the front corner and just roll the cover gently over. Same on the back corner, taking care to tuck that foam under the salvage, like so. Okay, okay next thing we need to do is put the seat retaining bead back in. Put your seat retaining bead over the seat bar on the front there. We need to put this piping here into this channel here. Okay, just noticing on that, the corner of that is poking out, so we need just to tap that back or else it will hold the material. Perfect. We squeeze the foam, hold it with your left hand, make sure it goes in with your fingers, and then we start it off level one end. Hold, a little bit fiddly, little tap, just to make that level, knock it up a bit and then you can see that's nice and flush. Now we're going to work right round the seat base and you just keep doing, squeezing it up, make sure the piping goes in so that the stitch line is in the channel, work in one direction. If on some occasions you end up with a big loop here, get hold of the cord on the back and just pull and that will just pull it flush. Leave a couple of inches free for a moment, just while you trim your seat base off with a pair of scissors. Finish off. That is the cover held in place now. These are the retaining pins we use. If you look in your seat base, you will see small holes drilled. One at the front here, another one here. Mm -hmm. Set the cover so it runs flush with the frame. Spike the cover so we can put the pin through into that hole. Don't go through the stitching, just go a little bit above it, level with the hole, poke your retaining pin through, line it up with the hole, there, and when you tap this one in with a hammer, there is a bar here, don't catch it or else you'll hold the material. Just gently tap it in. Next thing we need to do is tie the rear cord off. We tuck the foam in and make sure the cover is sitting on the edge of the foam nicely. Grab both ends of the cord, put one across the other and round underneath and hold. Lift the seat base up and turn. Tuck one through and tie off. Turn the seat base back, poke that through out the way and just gently draw the cord through. This will pull this tight here. Pass it through itself from underneath and pull tight. That's now locked off. Just put another one in for good measure. Leave about an inch and a half. Pull the foam back, make a small hole and then tuck your cord out the way. Look at the tabs, if they're a little bit bent, get yourself a pair of pliers and just straighten them up. So we slide our short bar into the back of the cover, lift the seat base up, poke your retaining pins that are on the seat through the holes, put your spike in just so you clear the material and it goes over the tab, like so. Hold with your thumb, just gently knock the tab back again. Take your back cover, Roughly, about a third down, put your hand, make a crease, and then fold it back on itself. Line your cover up at the top, and just pull down gently. Tuck your flap through now. This hook has to go in that hole, so pull it back so it's clear, and then all you do is tuck that in so it clicks in like that. Same again on the end one, and then again on the end one there. Use your long retaining bar, and you need to slide it from one end first, whichever end suits you. Slide it through and then grab and lift to the middle, through again, through again. Make sure roughly about even on the edge of the diaphragm, done. Gentle pull down, down and keep going until it's nearly there. 
If you were to pull it down now without squeezing the foam, on, you will rip the fly piece down here. This fly piece is important in as much as it hides the foam down the bottom. So again, just squeeze the foam up slightly with your hand and ease it over. Grab the edge of the material, just give the material on the cover a smooth down, just to set it up in place really. Lift your foam, just gently. Don't lift it too far back because you'll just rip the foam. Set your fly piece up, tuck it under the foam, hold the bottom, let it just go back down. Keep your hand now to the centre of the seat on the bottom of the back. My other hand now take over holding the cover, turn the whole seat over and we're now going to join the two beads together. So tuck your fly under just so it's level with this stitch line here. Hold over and pin with your thumb. What we do is start at the end, it's a little bit fiddly, it's a little bit hard on your fingers. Clip it on, move your hand up, pull it over, supporting it again with your left hand and just work down slowly clipping. Clip it home. Yep. All right, next thing we need to do is take the bottom plate off the headrest. Two screws, remove the staples, peel your cover down, and you should be able to remove the headrest. That'll work. There is a front and a back, the thick being the front, the thin at the back. So just slide your new foam onto your existing headrest metalwork. That goes in like so. Make sure you have the cover the right way round. Slide it on the top. Stand the headrest on something solid. And then pull down. Roll it onto its side, keeping hold of the cover. We want to pull the headrest cover so that this stitch line runs straight. So the way we do that is just pull it, give it a smooth up with your left hand, just pin it into position and you can see how that runs straight with the edge of that foam. Put one staple in and that will hold it there. So just roll it back on itself so you can see where to cut round this bar. What you're going to do is cut roughly level with the edge but just slightly in. Pull the centre down, keep the pressure on, roll it up, middle flap where it's cut, we roll it down, tuck the flap under itself and pull one side down so it seals on the bar. One staple in. Staple the wood. Okay. So roughly there. Okay. And we do exactly the same as the front. Okay. Put your plate back on. Tap it in.